Hi guys, it's Spring the Fiber Enthusiast coming back to you with yet another pattern tutorial. Are you ready? So this tutorial is based on just the pattern within the sock. I have other videos that teach how to do the short row heel or the heel flap, heel turn and gusset. Um, I also have a video that teaches you how to measure for the foot and also for your decreasing and grafting the toe together, uh, Kirchner stitch, as well as the cuff. So this particular yarn that I used was Lion Brand Sprinkles in the color Rainbow. It's a three weight yarn. And um, the ribbing I did for this was uh, two inches of one by one. So one knit, one purl all the way around. My cast on was 44 stitches total. So that, that pretty much covers everything else. Now let's get into the pattern itself. The pattern is actually, I say in the video how many repeats you do of it, but we'll just go over it real quick. Um, this little section here is a two row repeat that is done twice. And then this section here, which you actually can probably see it a little bit better on, there we go. On here, there's a knit, purl, knit, purl areas. And the way that it's done, it kind of resembles uh, like a basket. Okay. So if you will, this is the basket section and this is the top of the basket that trim that wrap around the top of the basket. So I did two repeats of this pattern here. It is an eight row or eight round repeat. And I did two of those. Now we'll do a quick measurement. I do more measuring in the video itself. Um, from the cuff to the bottom of my pattern that I have here on the leg is three inches. And I'll go ahead and show you my cuff is two inches. And then from my heel out to where I start decreasing is almost eight inches. We are looking at seven and three quarters. So that is that sock right there. Again, this tutorial is not based on making the whole entire sock. It is based on the pattern for the leg part of the sock. The rest is up to you. How many you want to do for a cuff, how wide, what kind of heel you want to put on it, how long you need it for the foot. And the toe is pretty basic. It's a a simple uh, decrease and also uh, the Kirchner stitch. Don't let that scare you. It is not as hard as it seems. It is very, very simple. But this is the sock that I used or the fabric that I used in the tutorial. That particular yarn, if you're wanting to know, is Brocco. And this one's color dye lot, here we go, 4850-9953 is the color and the dye lot. This was a 50 gram ball, 153 yards or 140 meters. It was 70% wool, 30% acrylic. And it, again, is a light three. It was made in Italy. So I don't think that 
I will be turning this into a sock. I'll probably rip it back out and use it for something else. But at any rate, let's get started into the tutorial on the pattern and I hope you enjoy. Okay, for this sample, I cast on 44 stitches, just a even number of stitches. Generally speaking, the 44 stitches, when you come to the heel, will be split in half. 20 of, 22 of them will be worked into the heel and instep, and the other 22 will remain unworked until the heel is complete. So that way you can start the top of the foot with the other 22 once the heel is done. But anyway, we are going to be talking about a textured pattern today. It's going to be a little bit hard to see on this. That's why I am working with a darker color, but you can kind of see the textures. We're going to do a, just a few rows of this part of the pattern and then we'll start this part of the pattern. And to me, it kind of represents like, I don't know, soft serve ice cream. And then I guess it has to do with the fact that this is uh, Sprinkle Yarn <laughs> by Lion Brand. So I guess that kind of made me think even more of it being, uh, I don't know, like soft serve ice cream on top of your sock. <laughs> But anyway, it's that way all the way around, and I did the pattern all the way till I started to do the heel, and then after that, I did just a standard stockinette all the way to the toe and a Kirchner, Kitchener stitch toe. But this is the part of the sock that we will be talking about and working on today. This is a one by one cuff, which I have here. And now we're going to start with this section here, which is some yarn over, knit two stitches, slip the yarn over, over the top of those two stitches and repeat. Okay, so that's what we're going to start with. This yarn here is, is just being used for a sampler on showing you how to do this pattern. I am on a nine inch circular. Here is the name of the yarn by Barocco. And you can see that it's a 70% wool, 30% alpaca gives you your gauge. It's a number three. But this will not be used. It'll be frogged out and put back into cake form and put back in the drawer for another project. This is simply to show you the pattern. All right. So first thing we're going to do is yarn over your needle, knit the next two stitches. Take your left needle, pick up that yarn over from your right needle and slide it over the top of those two stitches you knitted. Okay. Let's do that again. This is the repeat for this entire round. Yarn over, knit the next two stitches with your left needle. Pick up that yarn over off the right needle and pass it over the top of those two stitches you knitted. Again, yarn over, knit the next two, one, 
and two, and then reach over with your left needle, pick up that yarn over, and pass it over those two knitted stitches. Just like that. Continue around in pattern until you have reached the end of your round, and I will meet back up with you to talk about what you do next. Okay, so we've made our first round. The next round is super simple. You're just going to knit every stitch all the way around. You should have 44 stitches at the end of that round. So real simple like, just knit all the way around. Okay, I'm gonna continue to knit all the way around until I get to the end and then we will pick back up for the next repeat. Okay, coming up to the last couple of stitches here, just gonna go ahead and knit them. Now the next two rows, you're gonna do a repeat of the two rows that you just completed. You're gonna do a yarn over, knit, knit, pass, round, and then you're gonna do a knit round and that will complete these first two yarn overs sections of this pattern. And then we will start into the next section of the pattern, which kind of looks like a basket weave there. Okay, so go ahead and complete the next two rows. Remember, this is the first row is your yarn over, knit, knit, and pass. Pass that yarn over over the top of them two knitted stitches. Okay, one more time. Yarn over, knit, knit, and pass. Okay, so that is that round. And then the next round will be just a knit all the way around. I'll meet back up with you when I come to the last couple of stitches of the knit round. Okay, so I just finished off my last knit stitch of my fourth round of textured pattern that we're doing for this sock. So just a quick refresher, we had our yarn over round, then we knitted around, then we had a yarn over round, and we just finished our last knitted round. So that is four rounds to complete that section. Okay, I'm gonna set that down and out of the way and we're gonna go ahead and pick up the already made sock and talk about it. So as you can see, these were the yarn over rounds and the knit rounds. I'm gonna fold that over and get it out of the way so we can discuss what is here in front of us. Okay, so the next six rounds is gonna be your repeat until you start the heel. So basically you are gonna continue this six, row, six round repeat until you have the section of your leg as long as you want it to be. Mine aren't huge as far as really, really tall. I can measure for you real quick as to how much I did. So from my cuff, from the bottom of my cuff, I've done three inches of pattern. My cuff is two inches. I generally, that is generally my comfortable cuff size for my socks is two inches. So you're just gonna repeat these next six rounds 
exactly in pattern like this. Two exactly, two rounds exactly the same, then two knit rounds. And the last two rounds are the opposite of the first two. Okay, so we're gonna start with, according to the pattern, a knit two, purl two. And that is the repeat all the way around for the first and second round. So let's knit two, bring the yarn to the front, and now purl two. And yes, I do a scooping method when I purl. So I have to change the way I knit those purl stitches so that way it doesn't twist my, twist my stitch. Okay, so we had knit two, purl two, we just knitted two, purl two. And this is your repeat for this round and the next round. Knit two, purl two, knit two, purl two. When I have completed both round one and two, I will meet back up with you. Okay, so I have completed round one and round two. Now the next two, I'm just knitting all the way around for the next two rounds. Really simple, just knit. So go on and knit all the way around every single stitch until you have knitted two complete full rounds. I will meet back up with you to finish off the last two rounds of our six round repeat. Okay, for rounds five and six, you're just gonna purl the first two stitches. Oops helps if I have the yarn in the right space. So purl those first two stitches and knit the second two. And then purl two. and knit two. And that is your repeat for these next two rounds, rounds five and six, purl two, and knit two. All the way around for the next two rounds, I'll meet you at the end. Okay, so I completed rounds five and six, and what I failed to mention that I actually did was in between five and six and starting all over again with round one, I did end up knitting two more rounds. Terribly sorry about that. After doing my recount, I, let me mark these off as done. We just finished that one. So you'll do two more knitting rounds. So it's actually an eight row repeat. Terribly, terribly sorry about that. Y'all were getting excited, wasn't you, that we was coming to the end of the repeat. Okay. So it's an eight row repeat. After the eighth round of knitting, you start back up here at round one. Work round one and two then three and four, five and six, and then seven and eight. All right, so the next two rounds are just knitted rounds and I will meet back up with you. I'm going to actually do the next two rounds of knitting and work all the way back through the pattern one full more, one full time more and that way you can actually see the difference in the pattern. Hopefully this yarn shows it. Looks like it might. All right, so I'll return after I have completed 16 rounds. 
Okay, so I have officially completed two full pattern repeats of one through eight, as well as, the, as those first four rounds, which was a two round repeat. Okay, let's take a look at this a little bit closer now that I've got it done. So here was our first yarn over round. There's a knit round, our second yarn over round right there, another knit round. And then we started our rounds one through eight. Two starting with knit, then two rounds that were just knit all the way around, and then two knit rounds with purl stitches to start with and knit stitches to follow and then followed by two rounds of just knitting. So it kind of gives you this basket weave effect. So you can see here we're knitted, go under the purl section here, knitted, and then again, it looks like it goes underneath the purl section up here into these yarn overs. And then if we go over to the other side, here's a purl, you know, next to it, here's a purl. Then we go knit section, purl, and knit section. And that goes underneath of that. Okay, so that is this sock pattern. I have in my tutorials, in the tutorial vault of knitting, I have two different ways that you can do a heel for this sock pattern. We'll go back to the original here. So what I have for the original is a one by one ribbing. I have it two inches. Then I started my pattern for this sock, my new pattern, and I worked my pattern all the way as long as I wanted the pattern to work. So I did two repeats of the first part of the pattern and two repeats of the second part of the pattern. And in this particular pattern for me, because I prefer it, I did short rows. The, this is a wrap and turn short row heel. I prefer it over the top or over the heel flap, heel turn, and then pick up for those gusset stitches. I absolutely prefer short rows. And then I just worked out the foot working stockinette as long as I needed it to be after I have my foot measurement from my heel to between my toes. And there is a video that explains how to measure your foot to make a sock that will fit your foot exactly. And then I just did my short row decreases on both sides, which is also in the knitting vault of basic knitting or sock knitting. And then I did a grafting on the toe, Kirchner or Kitchener grafting on the toe to close the toe up. Okay. So that is it for this sock tutorial. Basically, this tutorial was to show you how to work this pattern through here for the leg portion of your sock. Everything else is available and the size and inches and all of that will depend on your foot or who you're making the sock for. Again, this is a three weight yarn 
and I started off with 44 stitches. That's what it took for me and divided evenly 22 stitches and 22 stitches. So when you're working the pattern, you want to be able to have an even number of stitches. So 56, 58, 44, 48, 46, any type of even number will work as long as you can split when you get down to the heel, you can split it evenly. Half of your stitches on the front and half of your stitches on the back so you can work that heel. And there is that tutorial if you need it in my vault of knitting stitches. So you can refer to that if you decide that you wanna do the short row uh, heel for your new sock. So that's the pattern. It's basically just a basket weave look with a little bit of yarn overs across the top to kind of give it a little bit of a different look. I hope you enjoyed this little bit of a pattern tutorial for your next set of socks or next pair of socks. And if you did, please give me a thumbs up. Let me know down in the comment section if you like this pattern and this look and are interested in more patterns for socks. Thank you for watching. Be blessed and be a blessing. Bye, guys.